Hello everybody and welcome back to the office. It is currently just me in here right now. It's 9.53 Monday morning. Uh, what is it, the 9th today of December? Yes. Q4 is uh, well on its way, as you guys know. Uh, we don't have too much longer left for... Obviously, you're not going to be able to send stuff out because it's not going to get to people by Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or whatever. I guess Christmas Eve is probably the last chance they get to wrap it, right? Uh, yes, we have uh, 20 parcels to do today, amounting to a total of £1,359 worth of sales. So we're going to be pulling them off the shelves today in this video. So stick around, get to see 20 items. Maybe you've never seen these items before. Maybe you have, but you might learn something. I don't know. Um, yeah, if you enjoy this sort of video, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below because obviously we will be doing more of these next year if they become something people enjoy. So, yes, early Merry Christmas to you guys. We're getting very close, like I said. What are we now, 15, 16 days away or 15 days from Christmas Eve? So, um, yeah, two weeks basically. So, that is good. Right, uh, I'm going to attach you to my chest because it's just easier to film that way so I'll be back in uh, two seconds let's go uh, we sold the new new mark uh, amp that I paid 30 pound for or 40 pound I can't remember what I paid now but this thing is blooming heavy um, and it's in that box right there and um, I had it up for 300 pound obviously it's quite hard to do research on stuff you have no idea what it is but the results were kind of coming up around 3 350 on these uh turns out well I say turns out someone messaged me and basically told me this was an older version um which was fine I don't mind people doing that if I listed it like ridiculously too high or whatever god this thing weighs a ton and then i did a little bit more research and yeah he was right um and then he came back with an offer of 170 pound which i couldn't really refuse i was like i oh, was that an offer are you making an offer there and he was like yeah kind i'll do he said i'll do 170 if you can post it to me for free i said look i've already come down a lot from where i started I'll do 170, but you have to pay the 10 pound postage because this thing weighs a ton. It's probably going to cost me 30 quid to post it. And he said, okay, and he paid. So, um, yes, yeah, so I got 170 pound on this plus 10 pound postage and it weighs 18 kilos. Oh God, that was hard to get off the shelf. Um, so yeah, that's going to have to go with like DPD. So if you don't know what this is, this is an amp like an audio amp, um, but it's on like a rack. So if you're like in a studio or you're a band or whatever, you would take all of your amps and then you would, when you get to where you're going, you'd put them all on like an amp rack. Um, so it's all in one like movable platform rather than the, the protective cases, that kind of thing. Uh, so yes. Next we have a Dyson Hoover head. I love selling these. Okay, so there we go. Simple as that. Nice and clean one, actually. There's a little bit of a dust down from that box, but there we go. So I would have paid, I don't know, maybe this came in a bundle. You guys probably remember more than me um, on the videos. This might be the one I paid £4 for the other day from that lady. I can't remember, but it sold for 20 plus 4.99 postage, so that is good. And the next item is another Fortnum and Mason basket, which I believe is just up here, and the customer has been bugging me ever since they bought it. Has this dispatched? I need it for Christmas. It's like, well, no, it's not dispatched yet because I get three days to dispatch. Plus, it's a GSP, so like, the odds of you actually getting it before Christmas are like so slim. But there we go. So this is a smaller FNM basket. It's got the leather strap, still has all of the um, stuff in there, which is perfect because that will help that not get damaged in transit. So that sold for £47.50 and they paid quite a bit postage because obviously they are abroad and the next one is a little lego minifig 
in number eight over here, and I got two of them by the looks of it. So they only bought one. So this is actually overdue, which never happens on my store, by the way, and I'm being serious. Um, for whatever reason, eBay has changed all my like Lego to two day dispatch, even though my whole store is set to three and I didn't catch it. So it's saying this should have been dispatched on the 6th, which was Friday. Um, but I didn't think I had anything to post on Friday, so I wasn't in the office on Friday. And I only just noticed now that it's done that, which is annoying, but there we go. 450 on the little Lego man. And next we have a Corona, a vintage Smith Corona typewriter. I paid 10 for this not too long ago. Uh, it's in Y, which is right in the corner, which is annoying. Bear with me and I'll get it out because I paid a 10, I think, on this. I got two that day. I paid 10 for one and five or 15 for the other one. I can't remember. <laughs> Why is up there? I can't do the alphabet. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Why is up here? This is why you don't leave school. It's too early and oh, it's Monday, forgive me. Anyway, here it is. It's quite a nice one actually. There we go. So that sold for, what did that sell for? I can't remember now. That sold for 49.99, full price I think. Oh no, 10% discount. So what, would have been out for 55? Yeah, cool. And then we've sold the Fur Rule Panda for the second time, because the first time the woman sent it back. She said, I don't want this. I told you I didn't want this. It's like, yeah, you did after it's already been dispatched. Like, I can't help you at that point. I'm sorry. I'm not a magician. So this is still on the shelf here. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm not stealing cookies. So yes, this went all the way out to a customer and they sent it back. So there we go, that happens. Sometimes it's very annoying, but there we go. 30 pound, which I believe is the same or even not more than I got the first time. Uh, top shelf, we sold the Sony DVD Blu-ray player, 150 pound. Fantastic. I had that up for 200, something along them lines. And someone sent me an offer that I could not refuse. So there we go. That's that new Blu-ray machine. Needs a bit of a wipe down. Everything in there. It's clearly never been unwrapped. All the remote and everything still sealed. Plug there. Still got all the plastic over it, so that's good. Cables, obviously these bags, they've yellowed, that happens. It's not yellowed because of sunlight, just this old plastic. Yep, yeah, smells funny. It's literally just degrading. So when did Blu-ray come out? 2006, um, around the PlayStation 3 launch. Uh, so what's that, 10, uh, 14, 18? Like, you know, we're, we're getting on to 20 years now. So that's why that's going yellow. Um, right, £150 on that, which is great. Fingers crossed that actually works, because obviously I've not tested it, it's brand new. So hopefully they get it and it all functions, because otherwise that's a sticky situation. Anyway, next we got uh, a solitaire, stone solitaire in A. So that is this basket right here. It's a shame you can't see straight into it because it's too high up so that should be in here here we go thankfully this is in a bag otherwise it would have been a nightmare there we go so that didn't sell for too much but i've had this for ages like maybe over a year now uh, 1171 
Right, the next item, funnily enough, I've sold this already. Someone bought this the other day at a heavily discounted price. And then they said, can you cancel? Because I thought it was a size large, not XL. Um, and it was the last one I had, so it was kind of annoying, but I don't know, I canceled and I relisted it higher because it was my last one. And it sold, so it sold for 15, full price. Um, so yes, I've had these for two years since the World Cup in Qatar, which obviously was in December. So Primark did a England Christmas jumper and I got these all for like, well, this says four pound. Uh, most of them I paid two pound for because I went in the day after I got the four pound ones and they were two pounds. So I had about 50 of them. And over the last two Christmases since, uh, they've all now sold. So that is great. So that one sold for 15 plus postage. So fantastic, they're all done. Don't have to deal with them anymore. And yes, in V1, we have a shark. So this is a shark that was broken. Um, if you would have seen the car boot video like three, maybe four weeks ago where I bought the massive bundle and I said in one, oh, I need to go get that other white one uh, because it's got the filter on for the other one. Basically what I did was well, I'll show you. I took the filter off, as you can see, and I sold that separate. So I took the filter off this one and put it on the working one, and then I've sold this on its own, which is right here. Does it come with the hose? It does come with the hose. There we go. So what we've got is the motor, the bucket, the hose, the attachment, and the metal handle, or the metal pole, I should say. And that sold for, what was that, 40 pounds? Which is good, because he threw this one in for free in the end. He said, oh, I'll take it, because it's broken. Um, I believe the roller on it was broken as well, or maybe I parted out the roller. I can't actually remember. Um, so in a week or two when I sell a roller, <laughs> that'll be that. But yeah, the main, um... oh yeah, that was what it was. It wouldn't clip in at the bottom. So the whole like joint bit on the roller was completely busted, hence why that got thrown away. Okay, so that was 35 pounds, so that's great. That was basically 100% profit on them. Right, C1, we've sold our first pair of uh, Argyle, I think that's how you say it, uh, safety boots. I paid £12 for three of these, I believe, um, and the first pair in C1 have sold for 90 They were up for 120 Where did I say these were? C1. At 120 I believe these were up for, and someone sent me a £90 offer. Uh, while I was in the cinema, actually, I was watching um, Gladiator 2 while the missus was watching Wicked. I couldn't quite stomach going in to watch a musical, so, you know. Hate me for that in the comments, if you will. But, um, yeah. So these are really nice. Steel Club, brand new. Um, down the car boot, I think they had three pairs, two, three pairs. I, I genuinely, I'd never seen this brand before. Um, a quick Google search while I was there and it told me all the information I needed to know and now I've learned it. So for all those people in the comments, they go, oh my God, you've been on your phone like three times in this episode. Do you not know what you're doing? Um, if, if you use your brain when you're watching the video, you will realize that Everybody in the field at a car boot doesn't know everything, you know? And this is a prime opportunity while you're there with a new item in front of you to actually learn something. So every time you see me with my phone out, it's not because I'm stupid, it's because I've recognized this could be a potentially good item and I wish to learn about it. So if you're one of those people that leaves a comment like, oh my God, you don't know what you're doing. Perfect, fantastic. I'm glad you think that. Okay, sweet. Anyway, that's sold for 90. And now we've got a Panasonic 
bread maker which has sold for 59 now you will remember these were selling for like 100 and something during the summer turns out bread makers are seasonal and people don't want to pay 100 pound in winter which is weird because you would have thought that you know making bread coming up to christmas it's all wintry and nice uh yeah but apparently not apparently it's a summer thing so there we go right i actually have two of these on this shelf so i need to double check this is the actual one it's so dirty because it's not actually the right one it's a different book it is the same machine it's just not the same machine if that makes sense yes <laughs> see this is why we don't put the same machine on the same shelf more than once at the same time well, that was a jumble of words, wasn't it? We're not meant to put the same item on the shelf twice. At the same, I've done it again. Never mind. you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that was 59.99 and the jelly cat. Third jelly cat now out of that bundle has sold. This is a large one. Oh, by the way, if you watched the last video, uh, the woman who bought the small one, which I told them was a medium one, messaged back. She said that's perfectly fine. The reason why we bought it was to trick the granddaughter into letting us wash her one. Obviously her one was disgusting. She didn't want to let it go in the washing machine, so they bought another one so that she could have it while it was in the machine. So they were happy uh, to take that. So yes, luckily I asked and uh, I got the answer I was hoping for. So anyway, this sold for £13, which is great. Um, I don't know how many of these I had. I think I had nine in total. Um, and now I guess we have six left. Right, top shelf, we sold the computer monitor. Uh, I'm actually gonna get that down after the video because I don't want all my vacuums to fall off the shelf. Um, okay, but I paid 10 for this and it sold for what 69.99 someone kept sending me low offers and then it sold full price so it's lovely when that happens yep and it's all boxed it's clearly never been used whether it works or not is another question i'll leave that up to the buyer to find out um it's definitely gonna work if uh, if regular you know crt monitors still work that have been used i don't see why a brand new one wouldn't uh, but yeah, 69.99 comes with the box and everything, so that's great. Sold a pair of glasses in case one of four. And I've not sold any of these in a long time. So yeah, so these were glasses I bought off a house clearance person like maybe two years ago. And I didn't do anything with them for like, oh, and there goes all my stuff. Like the first year I had them, I just didn't do anything with them because they were hard to deal with. And then last year, I actually listed um, a couple cases worth. So these were all like frames with like fake lenses in. So obviously back in the day, you'd go to the opticians, right? And they'd be like, oh, choose a uh, pair of glasses. They obviously, you know, weren't glasses you were actually going to take. They were like display glasses. But I ended up with them all. Um, this one doesn't even have lenses so yeah someone's bought this without lenses and they'll obviously go get lenses put in this um, these are real glasses they were just the display ones um, but yeah I had these up for 25 they've been up for ages and they sent an offer of 15 um, and I was more than happy to do that so yeah there's literally nothing wrong with these and I have some really vintage ones not in this case um but yes i'm really like crazy looking ones so that's cool and oh yes flat eric has sold and he is in box l he sold for 58 pound 58 pound he wasn't up for very long either so maybe just maybe i could have got a bit more on him but there we go 58 pound i actually didn't list this one my lister i have someone that does listings for me um sometimes and they listed this one so there we go pretty cool 
Right, on the top shelf, we have a really nice sale here. We have a Sony Triniton, if you remember. I made a whole video with the thumbnail as Triniton. 160, that was up again for 200. And uh, I just couldn't not take the offer. I just couldn't not take the offer. You know what I mean? Like 160 pound comes through. You're like, I don't know when someone else is gonna send an offer anywhere close to that. So I'll take it leading up to Christmas. Um, I did post the photo of these last couple of sales in my Discord server. So if you haven't joined the Discord, do join the Discord. Uh, link is in the description, it's 100% free. Um, it's awesome in there, loads of different rooms. You can get help from people if you need help. You can uh, get evaluations on your items. You can just genuinely talk to people, get to know other resellers. But anyway, the point being, someone in there asked me, how do you pack CRT monitors and who do you send them with? Well, quite simple really, bubble wrap and card over the screen, more bubble wrap, floated in a box with void fill. Um, and uh, DPD, basically, uh, use DPD. They're pretty good. You can do like next day delivery. Um, they got good insurance amount on there as well. So yes, yeah, so if you ever sell one of them, I would recommend DPD. Don't send with like parcel force or anything in my opinion, but it's up to you, of course. Um, yeah, and then we had a SIBO cell, a white SIBO. Uh, this is the blue one, I believe. Here's the white one right here. So yeah, this sold for 116, I believe. This is not the right pole. Let's get this out without breaking my melee. Whoa, there we go. Okay. So SIBO is a very good German brand. And I picked one up again the other day actually for 15 pounds. I picked up a blue one, so there we go. So all of this comes apart actually. So it's actually quite easy to ship. The handle all comes out, the hose all comes out, which is good. So that sold for £116.99. The uh, blow mold of the reindeer sold for 63 which is on top shelf as well somewhere. My top shelf is really thinning out and I like it. As soon as someone gets this, it can go on their front garden. However, I would not put this out with the current wind. Right, there we go, £62.99. So I paid up on this, I think I paid 25. I was hoping to get more like a hundred pound on it, but it wasn't quite as a desirable design as I thought it was. Uh, but 62 pound 99, I'm not gonna complain. And uh, the last thing that sold is the six slice Jewelit toaster, which unfortunately was listed about half price what it should have been. Uh, by my lister. I'm not gonna blast them too much on the video um, because they do watch. But yeah, this should have been listed for like 130 pound and it was listed for 70 and it sold like straight away. Well, actually what happened was it was listed and then my video went out <laughs> which showed the six slice toaster. So someone in the video probably was the person who bought it, but there we go, it happens. I'm not going to uh, cancel the order or anything um, because that's bad luck if you do that in my opinion. I would rather someone just have a really good deal on their item. Okay, right, that is all of the items. So I'm gonna put you back on the, uh, the handle real quick. Right, we are back. So as you can see, all of the items here other than the massive TV screen, which I didn't get down yet because it's, uh, in a box up the top. Yes, 20 items. 20 items to pack today. Well, actually, technically, that's kind of a lie. It's Monday and only half of these have to go out today, but I'm getting them all done. I'm getting them all out because that's good, right? You get them all out, you don't have to worry. Tomorrow, less stressful. You can do more work uh, rather than packing. So perfect. Get them all out and good. These videos help me do that because otherwise I would procrastinate. I'd be like, well, I'll do them tomorrow, you know? No, I'm going to do them today because I've already got them out for the video. 
Perfect. So yes, that was one thousand three hundred and fifty nine pounds worth of sales. Well, here we go. The itemized. I got paid one thousand two hundred and forty four. One thousand three hundred fifty nine was the total. So, what's that? 110, 120 pounds, so 120 pounds in fees. Wow, that's actually only like 10%, that's weird. Oh, hang on a minute, that's the postage. 120 pounds is the postage. The fees have already long gone, probably, I don't know. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll get more videos in the lovely office. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, because I think there's another video out soon, so. See you soon guys, thanks for watching, bye bye. Mm -hmm.